damn mountain. Gonna try to get some sapphires. Grab Kelly a little bit of that pay dirt. Gem Mountain. We didn't do any of the pay dirt there. We did it across the street at Montana Gems. I like their setup a little bit better. Um, but instead, we went ahead and got some uh, pay dirt that we brought home. I did the peridot already, um, so he'll probably show you an overview, you know, after I'm all done here, of everything that we got. But they do have different variety of pay dirts. Um, this one is the mineral pail right here. It's about, I think, 25 bucks. But this is the sapphires. And then they have all different other kinds of pay dirts from just all over the place. So we ended up getting uh, this garnet bag right here. It's from Africa, it's $15. Um, not a very big bag, but uh, the Peridot was from, I believe, Arizona, and the bag was around the same size, and we got quite a few, like a, a couple handfuls at least, of Peridot, so we'll see what's in this garnet bag here after we're all done, and um, go ahead and show you the whole process here at home that we do to do it. It's fairly pretty much um, just like they do there at the pay dirt places. So, so that's what we're getting ready to process. I got over on this side my screen and then our little wash tub. Gotta have a wash tub. Makes them all nice and shiny so you can see them. That's why I have it over here on the sunny part of the table, so they all bling, so I can pick them out with these tweezers. So, Okay, we'll go ahead and do the garnet bag first. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it right here in our little screen. I think I see some popping out already, but we're going to go ahead and clean them so they, we can see how pretty they are. So, I'm going to have to do this one-handed, so... Just come over here and ooh, look at that. All them colors are just popping right out. Wow. Those are going to be some nice pretty ones. They're just everywhere in there. Okay, so I'll finish cleaning this one and I'll take you over after I have it flipped. This is where we flip it. You always got to flip it towards you so your rocks don't go flying. And it's kind of loud, so here we go. Okay, wow, those are some nice pretty colors. Oop. So, this is where you just start picking. And I can see a lot, like literally right off the bat. They are beautiful. Look at that. That is just nice. Okay, wow, that's a pretty big one right there. Okay, you just pick all of them out. This takes some time, though. So we'll do this a few times till the bag's gone, and we'll see what we got. Okay, this is the second half. So you can see that, boy, they really pop out, don't they? That one looks really big. Ooh, it is. That is a nice one. Kind of flawed though, but I don't know. Maybe he can make something out of it. We'll see. Wow, that one's big. 
There is a lot, and you have to go through this dirt, really spread it out, because there's all different sizes. Big, see, big, here's one right there, big, small. Okay, we're gonna go through this here, and pull them all out. We're gonna get a ton, I can tell already. Oh, there's another big one. All right, we'll come back later. Okay, this is why I suggest to just do a little at a time. I have this little tiny bit of dirt, and I spread it all out here. That's about as much as it covered here on the table. But look at the amount of garnets that came out of it. it took me a little while to pick them all out, but that is a lot, and some pretty good size ones, too. That is big. So, but I still have that much dirt to go through. That's going to produce a lot of garnets. So, work on the next batch. That place is really neat inside. They have all different kinds of things, even display pieces. Garnet bag, this is everything that we got. It was actually quite a bit. Quite a few big ones we'll be able to do something with. Once it all dries, it'll be a lot easier to get rid of all these little tinier rocks. They just stick on there when it's wet. But yeah, not too bad. 